Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Matthew seven twenty one through 23 Most of the time when we speak about satanic worship and ritual sacrifices in hip-hop and Hollywood, it's usually centered around so-called celebrities who are already well-known and have a considerable amount of fame. However, this video is about the sacrifice of a rising local Baltimore rapper named President Davo or David Boykin. According to police, 28-year-old David Boykin, a local artist by, who went by President Davo, was shot and killed in East Baltimore on Friday. As that search for a suspect continues. On October 6, 2023, President Davo was fatally shot in East Baltimore. When we take a deeper look at this event, it becomes obvious that this was another satanic ritual sacrifice meant to exalt the devil and his antichrist. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Notice President Davo throwing up the devil horns hand sign, clearly associating himself with the devil as so many other artists and worshipers of Satan do as well. The date, October 6th, is the 279th day of the year and only 86 days remain until the end of the year. Strong's Concordance lists G86 as Hades, the god of the lower regions, the netherworld, the realm of the dead, death and hell, the abode of the wicked. Clearly, this points to the devil and king of the bottomless pit. Eight times six, is 48 and 48 reversed is 84 Obama's birthday on November 13th a man was charged with the murder of President Davo in the big story at five o'clock an arrest in the murder of a Baltimore rapper and tonight the bizarre way that police found this suspect November 13th is the 317th day of the year and only 48 days remain until the end of the year. Once again, 48 reversed is 84 and points to Obama's birthday. We can confirm that this ritual sacrifice was done for Obama by the date President Davo was killed, October 6th, and the date the alleged killer was captured, November 13th. Octo means eight, therefore October 6th is eight six. And I told you earlier, Shaw's Concordance lists eight six as Hades, the devil, and king of the bottomless pit. Novum means nine, therefore November 13th is actually 913. And Shaw's Concordance lists G 913 as Barack, which means lightning, as a reference to Barack Obama in the description of Satan falling like lightning from heaven in Luke 10.18. As if this isn't enough to prove my point, President Davo has a lightning bolt or Barack tattooed on the side of his face next to his right eye. Now check this out, the alleged killer was captured November 13th and 1 plus 3 equals 4. Further, since Novum means 9 and 9 plus 1 
plus 3 equals 13 and 1 plus 3 equals 4, we get the number 44, which also points to number 44, Obama. This lets us know that Barack is the man who will be indwelt by the devil and king of the pit. In addition, the name Devo means beloved. Therefore, his rap name, President Devo, actually means the beloved president. This also points to Barack Obama, who is considered the beloved president for many Americans. In fact, here's an article from 2018 titled, Obama Leaves Office Beloved with High Favorability Ratings. Not only that, but President Davo even uses the presidential seal and one eye symbolism, which points to the deadly head wound that the Antichrist will receive and rise from, as found in Revelation 13.3. The use of the presidential seal and the importance of its symbolism should not be discounted. Remember I showed you Nas's album cover for King's Disease, which used the presidential seal as a reference to the serpent and king of the Garden of Eden. You may also remember I showed how when this cover art is combined with Obama's presidential portrait, which was set in a garden, it depicts Obama being crowned as the serpent king. In this video titled Sunshine, President Davo speaks about the sun shining on him. Sunshine on me cause I done been through storms. Sometimes I talk to people who ain't here no more. Which is also another reference to Obama whose logo is the rising sun. I don't know what side. I think it's this side. It said, they say God will rise. Say God will rise. Remember, no matter what happens, the sun will rise in the morning. Further, notice the Baltimore pyramid in the background of this shot. Also notice this random man who was interviewed by the news reporter says the arrest of the accused killer isn't going to bring President Davo back. He does this while flashing the one-eye symbolism. It still don't bring President Davo back. We know the pyramid in one eye is a reference to the all-seeing eye of Lucifer and points to the coming one world government or beast system of Antichrist. The sacrifice of President Davo is just one more example of how the world is secretly being shown that Barack Obama is the man who will be indwelt by the fallen angel and king of the bottomless pit as the son of perdition, the Antichrist. The time is fast approaching when this hidden knowledge will be openly manifested and professed to the world. Therefore, if you have not given your life to the Most High by accepting the blood sacrifice of the Paschal Lamb, Yahushua HaMashiach, which was shed on the cross as a propitiation for the redemption of sins, the time to do so is now. Amen. Shalom.
It was both of us, stop acting like it's only I, yeah. But please don't give up on me. Baby, please don't switch up on me. Baby, I spent by my lonely. But what would you do if niggas killed your homies? It ain't been the same now, not a lot of things changed up. Ay. And I'm still with the same ones, so why they feel like strangers? Nah, nah. I came out the mud, I ain't got no stains on me. Cold, I got to keep this flame on me. No umbrella, it rain on me.